You know, I just wanted to take one, maybe two months off. I just thought that would be fun, just to have a couple months off from shooting videos. But no, you all have to start a pandemic. Well, normally if the government tells me to do something, the last thing I do is what the government tells me to do. So, you know, being that it's the government telling me to do something. However, this is a very legitimate, legitimate cause. Um, it's not trying to flatten the curve as much as it's trying to get the contagious rate below 1.3 um, and get it down to 1.1 so or just one so that means that if I'm contagious I don't infect 30 40 other people at 1.3 I only am infecting myself and that's where we win so I'm all into that and I don't want to see anything happen to our beautiful country and our destroyed economy because that will come back so my personal opinion is when the economy the economy is on pause it's not like the 2008 recession where the economy just crashed and no one knew what the heck was going to happen or what was going to go on this is a pause so that means that things are going to pop back as soon as someone says, hey, let's go back to work, uh, things will pop back up. And people did not lose confidence in the economy. They just lost confidence in health. Once this pause is over, I don't see any reason why the economy within two months isn't going to jump right back to where it should be. However, a lot of people are hurting. You know, that's part of the game, unfortunately. Uh, once this all ends and it all comes back, I think we'll, we'll see this virus thing and multiple virus things as, as a wake-up call on what we should be doing next to prevent something like this from happening. I mean, I agree we should stop eating bats, but, you know, China is China and that's what they do. Burbenders, on the other hand, is still alive and still chugging along, although it's slower than it was, but it'll pick back up. Uh, mail-ins are still pretty heavy, which is good. Right now we're only one day a week, and I think we're going to be two days a week next week where we're open to the public. And really, why are we open to the public? Because we do a lot of work for hospitals and things like that. However, I've got a couple incentive programs for restaurants, local restaurants coming out, uh, that will help hopefully bring people into their establishments, and let's try to support our, our restaurants and our local restaurants i mean you know the ones that are still open and doing curbside and carry out are the ones that we really need to look out for because there's a lot of mom and pop restaurants out there that are just devastated by this and you know if we can get carry out from them and support them as much as we can i think that's a great idea because the restaurant industry is going to be a a, a mess i mean a huge mess after this and it's really sad to see because people have put their whole lives into these places and my personal opinion is you're probably 30, 40% of them are going to close down. They're just not going to make it. And yes, that kind of calls the herd a little bit. But also, you know, these people put their entire lives into this. So go and support your local restaurants. And after all this, and I know no one has any money, but, you know, even a $5 hot dog and a Coke will, will help a restaurant somewhere. So make sure to get out there and, and once you feel comfortable and you think that you want to go and support some of the local economy please do uh, but this will not last forever it will go away and we will come out actually probably stronger i hate to say it but uh, we will come out stronger from this I, I see the president and the governors are fighting on when we should open this up i think um i don't know i think probably in the next couple of weeks all this should open up and move on with the program or worse worse will happen uh the economy will bounce back but the longer it goes the worse it's going to get so stay healthy stay safe keep your head up work around your house your house is a mess man clean it up for god's sakes jeez if you have kids i'm really really sorry I'm really this is terrible i can't imagine having little kids at this time oh my god this is gonna be the worst thing ever kids are you know a huge pain in the ass <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Take it easy.